He goes, you finally put some food down on the floor for me, woman. My bowl. I'm happier now. <laughs> yeah. This is just where we lay the hat that we've washed that we need to remember to take back out to the car with us. Hey, buddy. To good. Tux, he says, Mama, I'm ready, Mom. The Tux man, he's ready. He's ready for breakfast. Good morning. It's Morris and Tux. Artie and Striper are around here somewhere, but since they've eaten a little bit already, there they are. They're not um, as hungry. Tuxie! Tux, come on, bud. Oh! There you go. There you go. Come on, Morris! Come on, bud! Marty! Come on, Morris! Morris, come on up, Bob. I'll get the other bowl. Hi, Morris. Here, buddy, you can come here. Same stuff, less crowded. Morris! Hi, Stripe. Hey, Tux. Hi. Good boy. It's a little less hot and a little less humid today. It feels more reasonable. There's Stripey down below. Marty up top. I'm not sure where Morris went to, but Morris ate really well before wherever it was he went. <sighs> There's some pretty coleus doing its thing. This one recovered after Tux showered it. <laughs> That's good. Pretty Mandevilla doing its thing this morning. I walked down to the other side of the bridge and I dumped the two fountains. Well, the one fountain, solar fountain, and then the bowl that has water in it. I need to go start these up. I start them up every morning after I check their water levels and dirt. Um, yeah, everything's looking really good after Dawn hauled all that stuff off yesterday. By the time we blow the driveway, which I did the day before, and, you know, haul off the branches, most storms for us are, you know, handled, taken care of. Tux is like, Mom, if I can get some more attention, I will. I'll come over here. I'll be your buddy. And I would sit with you for five or ten minutes if there weren't so many mosquitoes out here. The mosquitoes are not good right now. Hi, bud. Hi. And is my good boy. Johnny had Tux in the house yesterday in the green room with Gray, and they were both super happy for probably like 45 minutes. So that was good. That was good. All right. Well, I suppose we should walk sooner than later before um, it starts to get too hot. Mom is popular, so if Mom is out here doing things. <laughs> I have four of these salvias this year, four pots with salvia in them instead of just the two I've had in prior years. And I have to say, because of how high it spikes, that works very nicely. I'm sorry, Tux. Come on, guys. Here, let me pick you up, Tux. Oh! Go make sure you don't want anything to eat. Anything else. I did see the Hummers on the can red candle lily spikes over here yesterday. Um, that was nice. You know, they do cycle a little bit during the summer. I don't know exactly when they leave here, but not sometime until late September, um, into September. So they've got a little bit of time before then. Um, yeah, I cleaned the fountain here and the one out and the bowl out there. Don't want mosquitoes hatching. Every three or four days, the water really needs to be changed out. I need to go empty the bird bath over here. Definitely don't want mosquitoes hatching. Maybe you can see the second stick over there. Don 
at my request, took one very um, left-leaning branch and made it go, curved it upright. Um, we'll see how that goes. I can always decide to trim it if I'm not liking how it's going. We were trying to remember what kind of tree this is with the big nuts on it. Don thinks it's a variety of uh, walnut. Not the kind you get at the grocery store, but, you know, um, it's leaning a little low right now because it actually has a good bit of fruit on it. Hi, Gray. It's a good girl. You ready for some fresh chicken? Okay. We really miss our trail. Yeah, I'm thinking real, I mean, it's gotten to be in the last several days, it's really gotten to be a, an issue. Yeah, well, it's shady down on the one end, and it's easy to get the mileage we need, and we're going to walk over here today. It's probably a little wetter than we'd still like for it to be. We'll have to avoid a few places, but um, we just don't feel like walking in the heat at South Park out in the full sun for a good part of it. We just are not in the mood. They need to mow here. I need to mow, but... Um, well, Don never puts pressure on me to mow, but I put pressure on me. But since I wasn't feeling 100% yesterday and I didn't sleep super great last night and we've got so much to do tomorrow and Tuesday, I felt like trying to do that today would be the wrong thing. So we'll just have to wait till later in the week and be tall for a few days. It's just the way it is. We didn't walk through the grass today, but we walked through the park to our normal entrance and now we're walking as if we'd entered where we usually enter. There's a lot of um, exposed roots, obvious erosion, a lot of um, limbs on the trail. Of course, I stop and throw the limbs off. Don throws a lot of them off too. I've just got this thing. I mean, the Jeff Wells trail, there's a gentleman who goes up and down it in a wheelchair. It's good to keep it clear for him, obviously. Nobody's out here in a wheelchair yet. It being, um, you know, cleared of debris I could twist my ankle on is, you know, good. Of course, we won't get all of it, but some of it is good. There's several large trees down in the park. This pine tree being one of them. This was not like this the last time we were through here. So somebody has cut it, probably the town. Wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to leave the trail too wide there, though, you know, no. or take an extra minute to get the stuff off the trail. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I guess it's good we walk down here today. Somebody's yeah. got to do it. Yeah. It just amazes me that. I'm sure there have been a ton of people. We've seen a couple others today. It's like, I just can't stand walking the trail when it's not accessible. I mean, sure, there's plenty of tripping hazards anyway, but... So, the creek's mostly receded. I mean, it's higher than it was prior to the storm. Yeah, well, but looking at the... Right, it has a lot still more... Grass, it, didn't, it didn't come up, it didn't overflow the bridge is what I'm saying. That still grass would have been laid over. Right, it was 18 yeah. inches higher than it is, but it was nowhere near the top of those bricks. Where, where the grass is laid over, you can yep. kind of tell how high. It got high. Don't it got it? high. Yeah. Where we're standing right now is really close to 401 on the back side of the park. And it's about where the tree grinding machine was the last time we walked out here. And uh, obviously they had to stop what they were doing because of the storm and it being too wet and all of that good stuff. This is not... Well, that's true. They're supposed to keep going over to uh, Bowling Road and uh, lift station down on the end of Bowling Road. All that construction that we thought was a new crossover to a new road, a new crossover. Yeah, so he made it all the way to 401 and we've just got a tree down from the storm. That's kind of in the path there. 
Yeah, they were supposed to cross 401 and go to the end of Bowling Road where it dead ends, and that's sort of going to be an enhanced slash revised pumping station. Yeah, when I asked the town guy about what the plans were for the trails, he said, let them get the work done, and then we'll figure out what the official new trails are going to be. Can you hear the cars on 401? We're really close to the bridge. Well, Don seemed to make it through okay. All of this wood chips they put down is actually pretty solid. It, my feet are not sinking. If Don's feet were sinking, he would have turned around in his good shoes. Wow, this is wide too. I mean, it's uh, 30 feet across. It's wide. Okay. I said 30 and Don said more like 50. And I am not disagreeing. I'm six foot. Yep. I could lay down on the ground and it would be more than 10 of me to go from the edge over there to that tree. Yep. All right. Well, this is probably far enough now. It looks like it gets wetter. What I was trying to do is trying to see when they get to 401 there if they just stopped. I don't know. I can't. I believe they just stopped because notice the green, the, the, the grass there, the weeds. Uh, I would have thought that if they tunneled right there, it would have been more cleared out. But it's possible that they tunneled through there. I don't know how big this pipe is. Right. Well, I think left or right, there's already a little pumping infrastructure. Right. That they probably are going to hook up into, and then that already crosses the road. Yeah, well, here's the, here's the magic part. We gotta come see you. Okay. Don said to come closer. I know it's hard All to right. hear. Well, what it is, is I'm used to up there. I didn't realize that the creek made a turn, comes around, and then goes. That's the culvert under 401 right there. Right. So, technically, this right here is exactly where it's close to that culvert is they could have put that pipe they can't get any closer but look at the hole between the two big trees over there and if you look at the one on the right there's a bro broken branch right, up built, pretty high i yeah. think they're through to the other side and kept going yeah they just i don't know what kind of i don't know how big the pipe was i don't know what how they drilled it across it didn't tear up the highway they drilled on it's just like up there going across Wagstaff. They did the same thing. They did not dig up Wagstaff. They tunneled underneath it. Yeah. And they did the same thing here. And I agree. The reason that we don't hear the noise anymore is because they're not working down here anymore. That tree's there for as long as that we want to keep it there. Yeah. That tree is not, not going to be messed with by them. They're not touching it. Well, I got as much exercise today bending over and throwing tree limbs as I normally do picking up trash. That's right. That's my girl. Phew. Oh. Better job than we're doing. It's like clean as a whistle. Yeah. And earlier when we're walking, we're up on that bluff up there on the other side. It uh, does go higher up there. So we're looking down over this on part of the walk and then we're down here in the lower section for the rest of the walk. People love to come to this spot with their dog. Dogs that like water, they like this spot right here. Let the dogs get wet a little. The water's just got tannins in it, tree roots and stuff. It's probably pretty clean, especially after the storm. Yeah, just tea, Don said. Actually, every time I drink, fresh brewed tea I get a headache immediately from the tannins I'm very sensitive to them yeah. it's one reason I don't drink a lot of tea every single time it's like god I need some caffeine and tea is the only thing available it's, it's, I get a headache I gotta really really need it in order to put up with the headache so my pretty girl pointed out something uh, very uh, she did good she adjusted my thinking 
I don't think they've laid a single pipe yet over there on the where we saw those wood chips in that uh, clearing. Uh, all that's the that's the tree crew. They're going through clearing the right of way for the pipe crew who hasn't isn't here yet. The pipe crew will come by and dig all that up. So I was thinking that the tree crew uh, and then the pipe crew were the same, but obviously that's not the case. They've cleared the land and at some point in the future the pipe crew is going to come in because we haven't seen a single piece of pipe I, like I said I don't know how big this pipe or is. a new manhole access way oh, for yeah. cleaning it out yeah. of anything either. nothing so I don't know uh, I was totally wrong thinking but uh, Marianne she straightened me out well I guess we'll know for sure in a couple months and uh, that makes sense now why they said fall because they're going to yeah. send a whole nother crew down that same line to do more work. Yeah, well, probably. At the rate these guys are going, they're across the road now. They're not working over here and they're, they're done with the the landscaping except for maybe uh, whenever the, well, anyway, the point is I think they're done with the, the bulk of the tree removal, uh, mulching and stuff. Um, and they're just going to finish whatever down to that, um, uh, um, what, what was the name of that creek? Uh, bowling road bowling road lift station uh, yeah that new treatment area down there they're gonna put it bowling road and that's they've easily gone two-thirds of the distance now sure easily yeah yeah and uh, so uh, they're probably closer to three quarters or more so they don't have a whole lot more for the tree crew to do but who knows when the schedule the pipe crew is scheduled for they could they're obviously off doing something else yeah and sooner or later as we all know with the Tesla the map will get updated because right now um, I'm trying to get my bearings here where was the, the I'm looking for the Episcopal Church not thrive but Trinity Episcopal there it is and it's still showing that the school's not built but eventually it will update and show one school built and one school under construction yeah, it does this one. It's okay, got the track, but it does. It but they put the iron up up here. This this is getting close to. Well, you're right. I thought this was the property for both schools, but it does show this school relatively complete now, and this one down here not. But my point is that they've cleared enough land coming out of Carol Howard Johnson um, Park that we ought to be able to see where it cuts through the woods up here. This is, I guess, the creek. Is that even showing some of it yeah, now? Yeah, where the so this is where the creek crosses 401 right there. This is the creek. Yeah. And it meanders in this woods and it comes right there. So there, this is right there is where they're clear the land. Right. Well, Fe this is Fuquay Storage. We walked past that. So here's how we had it a minute ago. But I guess Nani, with all of this here, they've that was the open area when we're out in the sun where the yeah, bluebird houses that's the are. Power line. Yeah. It's a little wider now. And here's the here's the bridge, 401 bridge. So I was thinking that maybe right. you think it's farther. Well, what's this then? That's the right of way. That's the power line. Okay. Where the power line crosses. It's fun to look at maps. That's all I was really trying to say is it's sort of fun to look at the map. But point out again where you think the bridge, where the bridge is. I believe is. that right there is where the culvert is that goes underneath 401. Right. I was expecting to see a new right of way from all of that tree crunching they've been doing. And, they, I, and I don't think that's on the map yet. That's right. It's not been updated. Either. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So Johnny and I are going to head to Walmart in a little bit, and uh, until then, he's eating. Um, I'm going to work on my building. I've only got a few minutes. I want to change out the floor and the theme. I am going to put grand, a, a clock shop and grandfather clocks around the wall and um, change up the, the tiling. So I'm going to have to pull some stuff off and fix some stuff and then go from there. I got everything pulled out that needs to be pulled out and I am working on um, putting it back together. Walmart, here we come and it is hot, hot, hot out here on the asphalt. There's a few clearance plants, but not worth $5 and not worth taking home. I didn't embarrass Johnny in the store, but there's their stuff, and um, it was a good haul, right? 
and uh, we're headed back to the house now. It is darn stinking hot out here. Yum, yum. There's the bacon. I got to put cheese on these, but they're ready to go in the oven. I um, have finished the floor and I put on the front door and a working on the front windows a bit. I decided not to do start building the grandfather clocks tonight because Don was snoozing and I didn't want to be uh, making too much noise. Bacon with uh, nicely brown cheese on top. That works every time. That's yours. There's that ice cream. That's right. Yum, yum, yum.